back, you know, hundreds of years ago, family businesses were part of the main culture. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. your last name was often related to what you did for an occupation. 100%, yeah. And so I think, you know, we're kind of holding on that tradition of, of mm -hmm. the family farm, as I like to say. Yeah. This is something that my dad started. I worked with him in collaboration. We're building, and then I will eventually take over full ownership of. Mm -hmm. But um, I think in two aspects that it's really helped is communication, which is key to any relationship, mm -hmm. whether it's the communication I have with my wife mm -hmm. or it's the communication now that I have with my boss. We can be very transparent yeah. with each other yeah, yeah. because we are related. Yeah. And so we can have those, you know, Real elevated, yeah. elevated <laughs> conversations. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we get something done. We make a business decision or we make a decision that's in the best interest of the client because yeah. we weren't afraid to take a risk yeah. in explaining something mm. and really debating something and really picking out the nuances of it. Yeah. yeah. And so communication has been good. Closeness. Um, he's the owner and I'm an employee mm -hmm. and we still respect those, those boundaries. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the same time, when he's making a decision, he's coming to me yeah. and yeah, asking me what my input yeah. is. And this is a business decision. Yeah. And so I feel like I am part owner in mm -hmm. the business as well. And so that closeness has helped as well. Well, you're getting, and you're getting that real, like just through almost osmosis of, of, now everything that he brings you into, you're learning that from a business Absolutely. perspective, not just as I would say like an employee perspective. Yep. 